Price is what you pay. Value is what you get. If value to you exceeds the price that you pay, you got a good deal. For the seller in that same transaction, if value, the price that you, the buyer, paid, exceeds the seller's price, what it costs the seller to provide the item or the service, then the seller got a good deal too. Both the buyer and the seller are better off. <laughs> it's magic. So what's the practical application of this for you? In order to capture more business, you either have to reduce your price, not my favorite, or increase the value that you provide. That's my favorite. Unless you're selling a true physical commodity, uh, staplers or stethoscopes, for example, in which mass production leads to lower per unit cost, competing on the basis of price is a fool's game. Your competitor will simply lower its price by a few cents, a, a few dollars or a few thousand dollars, depending on the scale, and then the downward spiral begins. Instead, focus on how to increase the value that you provide. While price is easy to see, Botox treatment this week only, 199 bucks, value is far more slippery. It's amorphous, it's individual, and it's particular. Heck, you're looking at my face right now, but there's no way I'm going to buy Botox even if it were 99 cents. A Ferrari, though, that's another issue. <laughs> but why, someone asks, when a Toyota will do? Well, that's what makes price and value interesting. Accordingly, price and value can be used to attract and they can be used to repel. Repel? Yes. The plastic surgeon whose fee for some procedure is 4x dollars is not competing with the plastic surgeon down the block whose price is only x dollars. The value message sent by the low price attracts some, even many, but it repels those who evaluate value differently. Our first plastic surgeon doesn't want those folks coming in the door. The second one welcomes them in. If you're running your own practice or your own business, or if you're the leader of a group, you can use these principles multiple ways. Although many believe that healthcare pricing, at least on the payer side, is relatively fixed, it's not. Some providers and some facilities have created value or the perception of value, which is really the same thing because all value is perceptual, which leads to increased levels of reimbursement. In the hospital-based world, some groups have lost contracts to groups which compete on the basis of low or no facility financial support, while other groups have maintained or increased the value proposition such that the hospital sees far lesser value in a competitor's free. And for all groups, the value proposition from prestige to the so-called soft factors such as a group culture can trump compensation in attracting sterling recruits. To Oscar Wilde, a cynic was someone who knew the price of everything but the value of nothing. So don't be a cynic. Understand both price and value and how they are inextricably linked. For complimentary resources, including articles and our monthly newsletter, The Advisory E-Alert, visit advisorylawgroup.com.